So we have a cool day, walking and biking, a lot of sakuras and kompira-san will be the main focus of today as well as the okunain of 73 that I wanted to do for a long time. Uh, there will be a small day in turn of bike, 55 kilometers, but with the walk it should be enough for me to get tired. Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, we have again a wonderful day today, so it will be nice to enjoy the ride. As you can see the weather is perfectly fine. Maybe tonight will be rain, but I'll be long asleep by then, so everything is fine. Uh, beautiful day because we are going a bit off track today. We are going to Kompira. I uh, know Kompira san is uh, one of the main shrines on Chikoku Island. I highly recommend it. Very close to Temple 75 Sensuji, and uh, it's a really beautiful place. Well, it, you have to be careful, it could be quite crowded if you go there on. Uh, Sunday or Saturday, I did it sometime and uh, it's quite hard to walk and once you reach the top, well there is another top, so we'll see if we have time to go to the other top, far less crowded usually. Uh, so we expect a lot of temple today, uh, even if it's on uh, 60 km around, uh, because all the temple I kind of uh, clustered uh, against Sensei and we'll have an opening of uh, another temple so yeah, there will be a lot of temple today but uh, they are very different from one another so it should be okay uh, so I'm going to be quite late uh, I have to go I have the morning office I don't know if we can film it uh, I will see with Jushuku, I didn't ask him yet, so maybe we can have a glimpse of what is a morning service and usually it involves a lot of chanting and it's a perfect way to wake up to a pilgrimage, in my opinion. It's uh, all this chanting and you're sitting in a nice atmosphere in a temple and it really puts your mind at ease and then you hit the road like a, a feather or a butterfly, if you will.
to hear this but uh, be really careful if you know French don't bring them nearby a bakery shop because this is what happens if they know that they will have a beautiful scenery like this and just like maybe 30 minutes before you bring them to a nice bakery shop this is what happens We have garlic bread, this I don't know, cheese, quiche, pizza, chocopin, croissant, croissant, croissant. So I guess I'm set, uh, at least for today, in fact. I think that will be my lunch and dinner, and uh, then I'll have to buy something else. But uh, yeah, you burn calories, you need calories, that's how it works.
What a day! It was, it was fantastic. One of the best day of my hand row, maybe. Of my four hand row. Like the best day I started yesterday, so yeah. The best day of this hand row by far. Uh, day was simple, in fact. Uh, took the bike, climb up a mountain, go down a mountain, take the bike, and climb another mountain, go down, take the bike, climb another mountain, go down, and that's it. But uh, I didn't expect the Sakura to be so beautiful. It's a, it's a blast. I mean, really, Kompila san is just something out of this world. Like, really, it was great. And I had quite the chance to be there before everyone was here, so I had kind of the sight for myself. Uh, I didn't enjoy so much that I lost the fluffy thing on the <laughs> mic. But well, for those who know me, I've lost loose stuff quite often, so well, that's okay. Um, yeah, Compila San, so once more, I advise, strongly recommend that you go off the pilgrimage sometime. Those places are so like wonderful that you will never get this feeling on any temple. Um, it's it's really something great and it's the protector of the travelers and before it was a Buddhist temple so don't be ashamed to go there. There's nothing as a you know, it's Shinto, you should stay Buddhist because we do a Buddhist pilgrimage. But go anywhere you want. It was Buddhist before, so it's just a matter of a name, really. The feeling stays. Um, so, yeah, Kompila, great experience. And then I did something that I always wanted to do. It's to climb the Okunoin. So, Okunoin is a practice temple. So, you have the temple itself and then you have the Okunoin and it was a bit remote so where the monk go to train themselves and this was one this one was remote uh, <laughs> quite clearly uh, but it was so fantastic I mean I always saw this temple on the third first pilgrimage I always told myself I should go there but it's a uh, a bit of stretch, one hour and a half in the middle of uh, some pack temples, like there are temples everywhere on this part so you're quite busy looking around temples and everything so you don't have the time usually to go but uh, the climb is quite tough I <laughs> all concrete, all flat no steps so it's quite a, yeah, it's quite an endurance test but then you reach the top and you say, wow, that's a fantastic view. And then you, there's a small panel that says like something entry. So I went and I found a family and there was like a, a father, mother, two daughters and Ojisa, Bachan, grandfather, grandmother. And we're trying to climb the, the, the highest part of the temple. And it was quite the climb actually, between rocks and everything with chains. It reminded me of uh, Ishizuchi san, the, the mountain of Shikoku. Uh, so we we didn't manage, you know, the the, the Japanese are so like uh, into the emotions, so they, they all scream, "Kwai, kwai!" I'm scared, I'm scared. And then you say, "It's okay, you you can do it a bit more, a bit more." And and they they, they did it. We all did it. Oh, well, not Oji san or Bachan, they were a bit too old for this, but yeah. Um, we went to the top, fantastic view. Honestly, one of the best view of this pilgrimage. Uh, you have nearly 360 degrees view, and it's. Uh, well, I hope the video will talk for me. But really great moments I had, and well, still the Sakura, of course. And then for the last part, I didn't expect it, but uh, I did see a walking pilgrim on the way, and. Uh, I went on the top, so I lost a bit of time, uh, maybe one hour and a half, two hours, and then went down, take the bike again, and found him again. So we had a bit of talk, and uh, well, quite quite a long talk actually, maybe 20-30 minutes. 
to live in Kagawa. It just does the, those teeny stretch by he takes the train from his house and do his teeny stretch, like maybe one temple, one, five temple, and then go back and then. And uh, he asked me where I was sleeping tonight, so I said, you know, in a tent. And uh, he said, ah, I have some coupon for you, you can use for this uh, onsen here. And uh, so actually this place didn't cost me, cost me much, uh, 2,000 yen for a big room and uh, the onsen was fantastic. Really much appreciated after the long day. But uh, yeah, it was a... Uh, it was a fantastic day, I hope you did enjoy the video and uh, tomorrow we have a first test, probably a big challenge, it's Umpenji, I'll try to go by bike to the top and uh, sleep on the top if it's possible. So we'll see if I can do it, I hope. Yeah,